To perform an MVV test on a patient, either click on New Patient to select him or her from the database, or elect a new examination if the patient's already been selected. Select the MVV icon and a dialog box will appear containing the patient's height and weight. Details can be amended and also added, such as the choice of predicted values for the MVV test and also the patient's current medication and who they were referred by. With the patient seated, instruct them to place a nose clip on the nose and the microguard filter or mouthpiece into his or her mouth with the teeth on the housing or mouthpiece and the lips pressed tightly around it to form a good seal. The patient should now be asked to tidally breathe for at least three breaths. When three stable tidal breaths have been detected, a vertical line will appear on the graph. You should then click on the button to start detecting MVV breathing and immediately instruct the patient to start heavy, rapid tidal breathing. The display will show the breathing cycle line in green to indicate the completion of the 12-second test. The MVV in litres per minute will be displayed, along with the breath rate shown in red or green, dependent on whether the test manoeuvre was acceptable. Press again to repeat the test. The test can be stopped once the ATS-ERS reproducibility criteria has been met. Now, I'd like you to start tidally breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. When you hear a beep and I raise my hand, start breathing rapidly in and out and keep going until I tell you to stop. It's crucial that you keep breathing in and out as fast as you can. Until I tell you to start. Good. Good. You've got five seconds. Five more. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Then stop. Good. You can stop. That's it. Hold on. Now we're going to perform multiple maneuvers, so after each test, have a rest, and then we'll repeat it when you're ready to do it again.